Hello, I'm Antia Peter, reporting news highlights by the Daily Express. Welcoming the region move, Chief Minister Datuk Seri Haji Jinor said Sabah and Sarawak were known as regions prior to agreeing to form Malaysia together with Malaya and Singapore in 1963. Although the move has not been officially finalised, he viewed this as an effort to unite the country. However, Warisan Vice President Datuk Jun Suang said the announcement was nothing more than a lip service unless the federal constitution is amended. To this, he said the parliament should reconvene to give effect to the term region of Sabah. The state government has decided to disallow Ramadan bazaars this year in view of the unstable number of COVID-19 cases in the state. Sabah's COVID-19 spokesperson, Datuk Seri Masidi Manjun, said the low compliance rate of standard operating procedures and several COVID-19 clusters are among factors that have contributed to the decision. However, Masidi said the state government would be prepared to review the decision from time to time, depending on how Sabah's COVID-19 situation develops. Some 5,285 workers in Sabah lost their jobs since last year, said SOXO Chief Executive Officer Datuk Seri Mohamed Azman Aziz Mohamed. Citing data from the National Statistics Department, he said the country's overall unemployment rate rose to 4.8% in 2021, recording some 772,900 in Malaysia that are without jobs. He added in Sabah alone, Sokso received a report that 4,434 individuals lost their jobs in 2020, while 851 lost their jobs as of April 2nd this year. On this week's online buzz, a survey on overseas pornography websites revealed that some Malaysians are selling sex video recordings, including those of their partners, to a porn website with easy access for internet users. According to Cosmo, the website's administrator will pay between 5 ringgit 70 cents and 62 ringgit for premium category pornographic clips. Account users can earn as much as 41,000 ringgit or be rewarded bonuses every three hours based on the response of each clip. A Cosmo reader said one woman was deceived by a man she met online and had recorded intimate sexual acts before the video was uploaded on the website. Unfortunately, she said many women are victims of such sexual grooming through social media, adding that she had been a victim herself. That's all for the news highlights. I'm Antia Peter. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more news from the Daily Express.